in today's video we are back once again on tapping legends final where today we will be hatching the new summer egg for 24 hours straight to see if we have what it takes to hatch the new op mythicals and secrets now whether or not we'll end up succeeding or failing miserably you guys are going to have to stick around and find out but quickly before i jump into this challenge just want to quickly say if you do end up enjoying it and want to see more videos on this game then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button with notifications on and yeah without further ado let's jump right into this so first things first let me quickly go over what exactly happened in the last video just in case if you didn't end up watching it and pretty much what happened was we had a look at the summer update and we practically maxed it out i mean if you have a look over here at the summer shop i have bought everything up to its maximum limit and not only that we ended up going over here to the summer egg we hatched for around eight hours or so and somehow i ended up managing to get the secret and yeah not only is it pretty op but it's actually one of three secrets in this update so yeah the end goal of this video is going to be trying to get one of the other two secrets and in order to do that i think i'm going to need to improve my setup a little bit what i mean by that is if you have a look over here right now i only have two lucky two books which is kind of mid so what i'm going to start off the video by doing is i'm going to head on over to my inventory and i'm going to start spam opening these enchant boxes just like so and then once we combine them all up the final result is going to be one lucky four book and one lucky five book and just compare them as well this singular book alone is better than these two books combined yeah you can definitely say that was a pretty good upgrade but hold up we aren't done just yet if we quickly go over to our toys and select these lucky balls and put them on both of these secrets then we will be getting a total of two percent extra luck which although it sounds like it's not really that much trust me it will add up over time then to end things off regarding upgrading our luck we are going to be purchasing five lucky boosters which as you can see it increases egg luck for the next 500 eggs by 20 percent and now that we are all prepared and set up we can start hatching this egg now i think what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to let it hatch for a little bit for around two hours or so then i'll cut back i'll showcase if i got anything good and whatnot and hopefully sometime within the next 24 hours you are going to be seeing me with a nice brand new secret and okay it's been around two hours now so let's just quickly step away from the egg and let's have a look at our inventory okay we managed to get ourselves a sun majesty and not only is he going to be having a 200k multiplier at base which is 60k better than the ones in the grassland world but as well he has a 150x sun token multiplier which is going to be three times as better than these exotics all right that's not too bad at all but how about when we turn him into a golden is he going to be that much better or is he going to be uh oh okay 400k uh that was expected since we all know that golden means double uh, but the sun token multiplier is going to remain the same. I see, okay, so when it comes to turning them into golden and diamond, it doesn't really matter regarding sun tokens, but when it comes to, you know, the actual tapping multiplier, that's pretty good. Let's quickly see if I can turn one of these into a diamond come on come on please successful and yes there we go it's now 800k which is almost as good as my grassland secret which is pretty insane to say now all i really need from these is like four more and then i'll practically have um an end game team but obviously in order to get more i need to continue hatching so i guess for the time being see you guys till around maybe the six hour mark and all right it's been around six hours now which means we can stop hatching for just a little bit and let's see if we got anything good and yes we did we got another two mythicals wow this hatching video is going much better than like my previous two videos combined let's get these on my team right now and not only that let's see if we can turn a few of them into golden so let's just use one two three come on please successful yes there we go and then if we take that golden one and then try turning it into a diamond yes it will on the very last one which means unfortunately i won't be able to turn this um, other one into a diamond but i can at least turn it into a golden which is definitely really good so for the time being we're just going to have to settle on that now when it comes to the unicorns and the beach worms i'm not going to be crafting them or touching them right now since i want to get as many as possible that way i can show you guys how many of these you should expect to hatch but anyways that was the six hour mark 
See you guys at the 12 hour mark. And good morning everyone, it is now the next day. You might have noticed since I was kind of whispering in the last clip, that was because I was kind of recording it at like 2am in the morning. But regardless, after a long time of AFK hatching overnight, these are the results. And you know what, it's not too bad at all. Another 4 Sun Majesty Mythics, which is a pretty nice thing to see. However, as you can see at my secret team, there's still no new ones. But hey, we're still only halfway through the challenge. There's still time for, you know, that secret luck to come in clutch. But apart from that, regarding these Sun Majesties, I don't really have a use for them at the moment since I already have practically a full team. So you know what, I'm going to be giving three of them away, one each to three different winners. And all you have to do in order to win this is to drop a like, drop a sub and comment down your username down below. And as well, if I do end up hatching any more within the next 12 hours, you know, until I get to the final part of this challenge, maybe I might give more of them away in another video. Since, you know, they are going to be limited and whatnot, so I know that there is still going to be value around them. And I'm sure a lot of you are collectors just like me, so you might want one on your team if you haven't already gotten one. But anyways, that's enough of me talking. See you guys for the final time at the 24 hour mark. And just like that, the challenge is now over. So let's have a look at our inventory for the final time, just to see if we got anything good. Um, okay, we got a bunch more of the Sun Majesties, that's okay. However, unfortunately, still no secrets. I guess I ended up using all my luck regarding this update in the first video. And as well, there's not really much more I can really do regarding upgrading my luck. Yes, there are a few more small things, for example, heading over to the enchants, we can get this extra, uh enchant slot we can get this to tier 5 but the majority of it is still pure rng but anyways regarding the sun majesties as i said i am going to be giving three of them away to three people in the comments and then the other ones i think i'm just going to keep them for now and then i might give them like away over the next coming videos so yeah if you don't want to miss out on those giveaways make sure you join my discord which is going to be linked in the description and make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos and yeah apart from that i think that's really everything that i have to say i'll see you all in the next one peace out everybody